Farmers here. Got a special video for you today. We are over here on Farming 17. This is actually our first recorded video, non live stream footage in other words. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and show you some stuff today. Isn't that a beautiful vanilla pickup by the way? Absolutely love this little truck here. It works really nice too. It's the best pickup that we have gotten minus the fact that I haven't actually tried the the newer style one in here but this old one here really gets the job done so we're over here at Morgan's Massive Motors and today we're going to be taking a look at the tractors that you get as part of the collector's edition as well as for pre-ordering I wanted to get this video out so you all can see kinda what you're gonna get and I can tell you anybody that uh, is gonna be playing on our servers I've kinda told the members in our community this and I'm letting our subscribers on Twitch know that if, when they come on to our server that we are going to run all these tractors so they're going to want to make sure that they pick all these up and just a quick note again thank you so much giants for sending us early access to the game and they did send us the key yesterday for picking up these tractors so i want to get a video out like i said just to let people know kind of what they're going to get before the game comes out so if we scroll all the way down we will see, here's all the vanilla tractors, and this is another little feature I absolutely love, is that everything is in one category. You don't have like tractors vanilla and then tractors mod. You have everything in one spot and it just puts that little red mod underneath, which is really nice. So what you're going to get when you pre-order is the Field Viper and you're also going to get the Voltra Cow Edition. We're going to go ahead and buy both of those in. And we're going to take a look at them. And then we're going to jump back. This is part of the Collector Edition, which I think you can only purchase this from Giants. But if you've purchased through Steam, I think there's a way on their, I think on their site, they actually, I know they sell some of these. There's a pack for $7.99 US that gives you like modding for dummies. And I think there's some or all of the tractors included in that pack. Uh, like I said, Giant sent us the keys so that we can go ahead and take a look at these tractors. So the Stealth is one of them. There's five total. The Field Python, the Field Anaconda, which happens to be probably my favorite. Uh, the Black Beauty, which I think is my all-time favorite. <laughs> I really wanted to see this tractor in the game. And so I was screaming like a little schoolgirl yesterday when I got the email uh, with the information that this tractor was in here. I thought that is so awesome. And then of course you've got the Massey Ferguson 8700 which is a beautiful, beautiful tractor. I just am not a big fan of the twin wheels that are on the front. I think they would look good on the back but not the front. But basically the good news is is you can choose to take them off. You can have singles, wides and all that sort of thing. Weights, you can put weights on it. So we'll take a look at all that. Let's go ahead and start over here with the Field of Viper. And as you noticed, I did start a little save game just for this. We put $50 million in. So with the Challenger Field Viper, you can go ahead and you've got 400, what is that? 384 horsepower, 411, and 438 is the top for $27,000. We're going to go ahead and get the ultimate here. We're going to buy one of those in. Let's hit yes on that. You can fetch your purchase at the store. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, geez. Oh, no. I just... Ch oh, geez. Usually I actually earn that because usually I don't do stuff like this, putting all this money in. But we're doing things a little bit different this time around. So it looks like I got a Steam achievement for my money. I don't know if you all are going to see that in the video or not, but uh, I guess I cheated on that one. Then we'll back out of there and we'll jump over to the Stealth Edition. And it looks like we've got the... No, nothing on this one. No upgrades. Just a nice black edition of the tractor. And I am not going to lie, that thing looks extremely sharp. So I guess we'll back out of that one. Jump over to the Field Python. Like those fangs on there. And you've got the 492, the 592, and the 646 horsepower. Obviously, we're going to go with that one. And we're going to fetch our purchase. Let's back out of that one. The Anaconda. We've got the 536, 591, and 646 on that one. Now you can do twin wheels, standard, wheel weights, or the triple wheels. Ah, uh, heck, if I know my community, they're going to want to see the triple wheels. So let's buy that beast like that. Lots of money that one's costing. And we'll back out of that one. Over to the Black Beauty. 
Again, one of my favorites. So we've basically got 300, 360, and 390 on the horsepower. Standard wheel weights, wide tires, twin wheels. Um, you know, this thing's barely breaking 400. I think I'm going to skip the twin wheels. I think I want to see it possibly with the wide tires. Let's 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 go with the wide tires. Let's see. Yeah, let's let's do the wide tire. Let's see that thing with some nice beefy singles on it. Let's go ahead and buy that in. All right, we've got that one in the game. Let's back out and the very last one. I'm kind of excited to see the skin on this one. It looks like a giant cow. Uh, do you want the front loader attacher? Why not? Why not? Engine setup, you've got 210, 250. Those are your two choices. We'll go to 250. Wheel setup, standard, wheel weights, narrow tires are your choices. Um, I think probably we'll just go with the wheel weights because I, I kind of like the wider tires. I, I was wondering if they're going to let us do twins, which I wouldn't, again, want twins on a tractor that small. Uh, rim color. You know, this is the cow edition. Uh, what are our choices? Uh, choices are in there. I think white is kind of the color you should go with. Again, you could probably get away with, like, black. But I think the white looks pretty sharp, so we're going to go with that one. Oh my goodness, look at these beautiful machines. Holy crap. Giants, I have been amazed so many times with this game. And just, I don't know what it is. Like, they have just blown my mind so many times. Like, you come in here and I guess I was half expecting a uh, kind of a snake design. When you actually get in here and you look at these tractors, it's just unbelievable how awesome they look. Absolutely awesome. We'll take them all out for a drive. So there is the Python, right? I'm, I'm going to get all these wrong. No, is that, is that the Viper? Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay, we got the Viper, sorry. And then we got the Stealth. And then we've got the... This is the, the Python. And then we've got the Anaconda. That is just, I, I'm, again, beside myself. That tractor looks so proper with those wheels on it. Oh my god, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. The Black Beauty, is this real life? Is this real life? Look at this thing. This is just, an, uh, just amazing looking. And then you got this over here. You've got this uh, Voltra. And uh, hey, if you guys go with it, do the white wheels. Keep the white wheels, because look at the wheel weights. Does that not look like a, a, a rolling uh, cow of a tractor? That thing is amazing. Let's go ahead and start out with this guy right here on the end. Now, I do not have my Track IR hooked up today. Uh, Track IR works really nice with this game, and I highly recommend picking one up just because of the fact that how awesome it is that you can kind of look around. If you guys want to see what that's like, you can look at it in our first look. I was using it some. But I really wanted to have free control today of being able to look around in this tractor and that's where we can go ahead we'll turn our HUD on for a minute because I don't know how to change driving is left control and B alright let's do that this is the nice thing about this tractor look at that now when we press our accelerator pedal we're driving backwards this is definitely a tractor that we're going to be using on our farm Get that HUD off of there. You know me, I love not having a HUD. So I'm just driving this like normal. I'm, I'm not using reverse. I'm driving it uh, with my foot on the gas pedal and I'm steering it to the right and to the left. It just reverses everything. And you're probably wondering, what the heck do you want to do that for? Well, when you go to do the, the mowers, you can actually, just like you've seen in the trailer, you actually put the mowers on the front and this becomes a very nice big mowing machine that uh, it, it's much, much better to drive. You put all the mowers right on the back and that becomes your front and now you can sit here in the cab. Again, with Track IR, you just tilt your head and look like that way. It is awesome, folks. It is unbelievable. And I'm not supposed to be sharing my opinions as part of the embargo. I can't help it. I cannot help it. I cannot help it. I am just enamored with everything that I've got my hands on in Farming 17. So basically, we're going to go ahead and flip that guy around. So it was left control. There we go. I hit shift at first. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's do that a couple times. Folds up the little armrest. Down she goes. 
It's kind of weird, isn't it, having a little steering wheel? Obviously, this is based on real life. So, now we're going forward. Oop, driving over the curb there. Good thing we're in a tractor. I love this thing. I am not very knowledgeable on the Voltra brand. And uh, I love what they've done to the lights, too, with the reflection off of everything. Oh, man. This thing sounds amazing. And, and this is something I put out in the first look. Look at this. Loud. Outside. Yeah. All the other farming installations, it was the same sound in, in the cab. Not in 17. It is nice and quiet. Absolutely loving this. Okay. Let's get back because we want to check out some of those other tractors. Let's see what our top speed is, by the way. 32 miles an hour. If you're a kilo head, I don't know how many kilometers an hour that would be, but we'll just make up a number. 185, I think. <laughs> All right, look at this. I love this. This is... Mm. One other thing I want to point out, too. I uh, finally did today is if you are running the SciTech farm wheel like I am, you will probably listen to that sound when it shuts off. You will probably want to go ahead and change your dead zones, which are by default like the other farm games at 14%. You're going to want to put all of them to zero. You will enjoy your wheel and your, your foot pedals a lot more. And I like how when you get out, the light stays on. Isn't that nice? And actually, if I turn the headlights on, wouldn't it be neat if uh, the battery was dead now later? But all the lights stay on, and that, even if the engine is off, that is awesome. We don't have to worry about virtual batteries. Okay, now we're moving on to the fan. You know what? Oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. This is this is one I've been looking forward to. Oh, my God. Look at this thing. I have died and gone to heaven. That is one beautiful interior. Let's fire this thing up. Let's turn off that HUD. That way I can pretend this is real life. Listen to that sound. And I can see the dash on this one. If I had my track IR, I could actually lean forward and look at the gauges there. Oh, I just love that sound when you get on it. The tractors in this game, when they're under load, like when we're coming down here later backwards and we're pulling a heavy trailer, you will hear the engine working as it's going up the hill. It, again, we never had that in farming. Outside view, turn on those beautiful lights. Love those things. I wish there was a hill to climb. Okay, turn on the... We'll turn on the HUD so we can see our, our speed. And that's the wide tires. I think this thing looks so good. It's not even a um, 400 horse, so I think it looks proper with those wide tires, folks. Love the sound, 40 mile an hour. I think it's because we're on a hill, we're 39. It's trying to hit 40. Come on, I know it can do it. I bet you it hits 40. Maybe the wind is, maybe, yeah, we've got a headwind, folks. We've got a headwind, I think that's it. Listen to the sound. I almost don't want to talk. Just drive up and down this road all day. On the brakes. Another thing I want to point out too, these tires, when you actually hook weight up to them, they will squat. They will squat. And I want to show you. Let's go do that. That absolutely blew my mind away. Let's see if it does anything when we run over a curb. Oh, they do. You can see it. You can see the tires kind of flex a little bit. You can see the tires kind of flex a little bit. See them bulging out? When you put the tires under load, you actually see the tires squat down. Like even the combine, when you pick up the header, the whole thing squats down. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's go ahead and buy a weight. 
course, we're going to go for the heaviest one here. Uh, one thing to point out, too, as you saw in the other vid, you can actually get these by color. But uh, I want to get the most... Whoops. I want to get the most weight here. Okay, where did the weight go? There it is. And I got to back up. Okay. That thing's not really making these tires squat too much. But you can see there, it's kind of hard. Because that 2400 doesn't really do much on this thing. Watch those tires. That is absolutely phenomenal. That little bit of realism is what I'm always looking for. And I can promise you if you had even more weight on there, those tires would squat even more. Because I've seen it on some of the other machines. So that is the Black Beauty. And it is absolutely a beauty. I should have hooked it up on the front. Let's go jump into this. Well, let's shut this one down first. Nice sound there. Let's go ahead and jump in this thing here. Battery's not dead yet. So those tires, they don't... A little bit there, you see it? You see how they widen out? Just like the real thing. I was blown away when I saw that the other day. And like I said, the more the load, the more they squat. Okay, we're going to leave that there. We're going to come back to these tractors at the end. Because I really want to start back down here now with the Viper. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. What a nice tractor this is. It's like kind of, it's a big tractor, but yet it's pretty compact. We'll turn the lights on too. Gotta have all of our lights on. That paint job is absolutely amazing. Listen to that sound. I think I should call this video tractor porn. Hopefully YouTube doesn't have us uh, take this down. And I love that mirror right there. Alright, we come to a stop. We better turn on our speedo here. This thing does turn pretty sharp. <laughs> Just like it's supposed to. Wow. Don't do that with the uh, equipment hooked up on the back. It might be bad. And the whole cab on that one again. This was supposed to be a quick video. I want to see what the tracks do when we run over the curb up here. So the, on that, they kind of glitch through, so they seem to be pretty solid. Look at those lights, though. Beautiful tractor. Let's go ahead and park that one here. Now we're moving on to the Stealth Edition, and... I can't remember how much power this one was supposed to have, but... Uh, love the detail, the caution heavy on the weights. Caution hot, no step. It just, it feels like it's some kind of uh, military aircraft. Look at the roof on that thing. Beautiful tractor. Unbelievable. Let's turn those lights on. This thing looks so badass to have on the farm. It's almost like the windows are tinted. I th it feels like they are. And top speed here on this one, 26. That's pretty common in a lot of tractors. This thing is unreal. 
Absolutely unreal. Giants FM on the radio. I didn't notice that before. That is so cool. And of course it turns on a dime. Whee! <laughs> you get yourself sick. Sounds and everything are pretty much like the others. Let's climb through here. Running over curbs. I like how you get more shakiness in the cab. When you go off-roading in this game, you really do feel it. It's, it's much better than any of the other ones we've had. All right, nice and quiet, shutting it off. Boy, I, I can't even believe it. All right, now we're going to get into the Anaconda. This is uh, more power, basically. Oh, nice interior. I think it was about the same as the, uh, the smaller one there. It just feels bigger, too. Turn on our lights. Nice lights on it. And what about the backlights? I think I might have forgot to do that before, but there's the backlights. Oh, there's more lights. Okay, now we've got all the lights on. These things are very nice and lit up. And it looks like that 26 mile an hour speed. I almost got to turn them lights off just because they kind of keep us from seeing the, the paint. And I had my foot on the, on the accelerator the entire time. As soon as you turn, you just hear that thing just work. Oh, man. Oh, I hit a car. <laughs> Didn't even see him get in there. This thing would have just crushed it. All right, let's climb on back through here. We got one more tractor to check out. Look at that thing. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's shut her down. Nice and quiet. I bet you if we picked up one of those weights, I don't even know if they would fit on the back, but... If we picked a, the weight up with this thing, you probably wouldn't even notice it. And uh, you can tell this thing is just a bigger vehicle from the tracks to than like this one down here. All right, that leaves us with one last one to look at. And this thing is, I, I actually might have mistakenly called out the Anaconda there. Uh, that was the uh, Python. I'm getting all these snake names mixed up. This is obviously the anaconda. This is the beast. This is the big boy. And look at that with three tires on it. Does it get any better than that? That thing looks so proper. We have never had a tractor this size on our farm. And I can't remember if we actually can change the wheel color out. I'm going to have to look at that here in a second. I don't think we can. Let's start it up. Wow. I gotta shut her back down. Because I want to do it from inside the cab, too. So the cab pretty much looks the same. Same thing as the others. Look at those tires. This thing is a monster. Okay, let's drive it. Ooh, this is nice. 26 mile an hour, top speed. Oh my goodness. Same horsepower, was it 646, as the oh, Python, forgetting all the names, the tracked one that we were just in, but this thing's got all the tires on it. Wonder if we could fit across this bridge. Oh, 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 look at that. And I was wondering about that. Is there a collision? Yes, there is collision. It's not like those. Those uh, mods that we would run into that would have no collision. This thing definitely has collision. Very nice, they're giants. Now the real question is, is does this thing pull better going uphill? That is something I would love to know. You got all the tires slipping. The engine is clearly working. I wonder if we dropped it down to... 
like different tires. I don't think we can do singles, but if we went back to doubles on this thing, if they would spin faster, because that'd be a, a, a definite indication that yes, having the extra tires does make a difference with the slipping. At the end of the day, I really don't care because when I'm driving a tractor that doesn't even fit in the lane, I am happy. I could die today and I would be a happy man. Alright, let's get back in the cab. Listen to that engine work. I could just sit here and listen to this all day long. That feeling when you're going on a hill and you're pulling a heavy load, I mean, that is... That is just excellent. Oh, we're gonna run somebody over here. Oh, that that is wonderful. And then your turning radius with this one? Obviously, it's not like the track edition. Still pretty good, and at the end of the day, I don't care because I am way into these tires. I love this. Absolutely love it. I just gotta see what the wheel weights look like. Okay, so here's the wheel weights. All right. Now that's what it would look with the wheel weights. Oh, and this is a single. Okay, so we've got singles and wheel weights. Still looks like a nice tractor, but I, I couldn't do it. All right, let's back that up out of there. There it is with those weights. I am loving that. Loving the way that it looks with the weights on it, but I'm sorry, I could not get this tractor without those triple tires. Um, it, I just couldn't do it. I mean, it still looks nice, but man, those triple tires are a beast. So that's what it would look like with the singles on it. And that's what it sounds like when you shut her down. Beautiful tractor. Jump out of that one. Absolutely love what I see here. So, well, all right, folks, that's going to be the end of this video. I'll try to bring some more to you. Like I said, this is going to be in our effort to get you a lot more content for Farming 17 than we had in the past with Farming 13 and Farming 15. So I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely go out there and get these tractors purchased. Get the Collector Edition tractors. Get the pre-order. If you haven't pre-ordered it right now, these things I think are well worth that. If you're going to get the game, you might as well get her a little early and have all these in there. We're going to be running these on our server. So any folks that decide to jump on that server with us, our subs over on Twitch there, they're going to need to have this stuff. Don't forget to check us out over there at twitch.tv slash gunandgamers. Make sure you follow us on Twitter so you know when we go live. And until next time, take care.